It is Severe Weather Awareness Week, and Storm Team 8 is going over what you should know as we enter severe weather season. Tonight, Chief Meteorologist Ellen Baca is focusing on hail. Look at this video. Huge hailstones started falling out of the sky. In Michigan, hail can be as small as pebbles or as big as baseballs. Check this out. Softball to even uh, baseball size hail, the biggest ever, falling in West Branch in 2015. Hail forms in convective situations with very cold cloud tops. As air is ingested into a storm by the updraft, relatively warm water droplets are forced into the sky. Soon those water droplets freeze becoming tiny pieces of ice or hailstones. If the storm is very strong, the updraft can keep those small hailstones airborne for a long period of time. As hail rises and falls, it becomes coated. Supercooled water droplets flash freeze onto the surface of each hailstone, allowing them to grow larger. Eventually, when hailstones become too heavy for the updraft to support, they fall crashing to the ground and smashing anything they come in contact with. Hail will fall at different speeds depending on how big it is. So for example, if you have a hailstone that is smaller than an inch, it likely will fall somewhere between 9 to 20 miles per hour. However, if you start to get some big hailstones, like 3 inches or more, you're talking at fall speeds of closer to 30 to 45 miles per hour. Some of the biggest hailstones are estimated to fall as fast as 100 miles per hour from the sky to the ground. Michigan is ranked 17th in the nation for hail damage costs, costing insurance companies $36 million last year in the state alone. The biggest claims on crops, shingles, and cars. The biggest hail usually falls in summer, when cloud tops can reach a stunning 45,000 feet high. Shallower storms in late spring or early fall usually throw down smaller hail, about pea-sized or marble-sized. And Ellen says if a storm producing hail is headed toward your area, you should take cover immediately.